Welcome back to the another episode of Photoshop. This video is the part of the series of Photoshop for beginner. So if you did not watch our previous video of this series, I suggest you to watch our previous video of the series. Then continue watching by serial. You will find the whole video playlist link in the description. Alright, in this video we will learn the power of cropping tool in Photoshop. So let's get started by selecting the crop tool. To select crop tool, I can tap on C key and Photoshop place a crop mark key around the enter image. But you can also just click in the image area in order to create your own crop as long as you haven't already moved the edge. So I'll just drag out a crop right here. Now you can reposition the crop by moving the image within that crop. You can also use any of the handle in order to resize the crop. And as you drag, you will notice that it's not constrained. Which means I can make the crop any dimension that I want. But if I want to constrain it, then I can enter an aspect ratio. I can either select an aspect ratio from the list here or you can just type. Here it's set to 2 by 3. But if I want to exchange it to 3 by 2, I can either click on two arrow here or just tap the X key to exchange the weight and height. If I want to remove the aspect ratio, I can click on the clear button. There are number of different overlay that I can display by clicking on the overlay icon. For example, the rule of thirds or the grid and I can toggle through this by tapping the O key. So there is my grid and we can just toggle on through this. Now by default, delayed crop pixel is on, which means if I apply the crop now, Photoshop actually is going to delete all of the pixels that are outside of the crop. And if we look at our layer panel, you will notice that I have a background. That's because the image came in as a background, but it's also got a crop preview. If I have delete crop pixel turn on and I click the check mark here in order to apply that, Photoshop returns that background back to its original state and is delete all of this pixel. So let's use the history panel here and return to when I first open the file. I'll tap the C key again to select the crop tool and I will start dragging it. But now I'm going to hold down the Alt key. When you hold down the Alt key, it's going to crop from the center. So I'll crop it a little bit and reposition it there. But this time I'm not going to delete the crop pixel. So I will uncheck that. And you will notice that I have a different preview in my layer panel. There is no longer that background layer. I have just got the cropped at preview. And if I select the move tool, you will notice that if I reposition the image within the canvas area, that information has not been cropped. It was just hidden and the canvas was made smaller. After applying a crop, if you have not deleted the pixel and you want to show the information outside of the canvas area, you can always choose image and then reveal all. Now I want to talk about how to straighten an image with crop tool. But before that, let's first reset the crop tool. Then choose the straighten tool in the option bar. We can just drag the tool in the image area. And if we have a reference point like horizontal line or a vertical line, when we release the cursor, Photoshop will go ahead and straighten that. We can also access the straighten tool temporarily by holding down the control key while in the crop mark view. Another way to straighten an image is to by simply position cursor outside of the crop and I get the double headed arrow and then I can just drag in order to rotate the image. One of the problem that can arise when straightening an image using the crop tool is that by default. The crop tool is constrained to stay within the image area because if we reposition the crop handle outside of the image area then we would be left with the transparent area if we are on layer document or white areas if we were on a background. 
but we also have this in option to enable content aware and content aware will attempt to fill in any of these white areas with information from the image so i will go ahead and click on the check mark and photoshop will calculate and fill in those area by making up the information now it did an excellent job on this image it might not always do a perfect job but the border here were very organic with water as well as the clouds so you might need to go in and do a little bit of retouching after you use content hour depending on the content of the image all right that's it for today's video if you like this video please consider subscribing to our youtube channel i will see you next time on tat planet